वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 9-40 एंड दैट इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर 9 स्ट्रेस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटेरियल बाय आर सी हिबलर सो स्टेटमेंट इज द वाइड फ्लेंज बीम इज सब्जेक्टेड टू 50 किलो न्यूटन फोर्स डिटरमाइन द प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेस इन द बीम एट पॉइंट ए लोकेटेड ऑन द वेब एट द बॉटम ऑफ अपर फ्लेंज Although it is not very accurate, use the shear formula to calculate the shear stress. So you can see this is a cantilever beam that is acted upon by a 50 kilonewton force at this end, and the cross section of this beam is shown. That is I beam clear, and from here you can see this is the flange. These two are flanges, clear, and this is what we call web. So you have been asked to find the principal stresses in the beam. Located on the web at the bottom of this is the top of the flange and this is the bottom of the upper flange and this is upper flange and this one is lower flange. So you have to find the principal stresses at this point A. So let's start with this solution. So first step is that uh, we first find the state of stress at point A. So for that, if I cut this beam at point A. and draw the free body diagram so this let this is the beam clear this is point where there is a point load x and that point load is 50 kilo newton that this length is 3 meter okay and when you cut it at this point so there will be a shear force that will be acting upward which is represented as v and there will be a moment that is equal to m clear so we will find this shear force v and moment m so for shear force we will apply sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive so we can see v is acting upward and 50 kilo newton is acting downward their sum must be equal to 0 so it means that shear force is equal to 50 kilo newton and the moment can be obtained by using equation sum of all moments let this was your 1 point about point 1 is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so you can see about point 1 this shear force is passing through it so it is not producing moment so this force is producing moment and the perpendicular distance is this 3 meter and this is clockwise so it will be negative the second moment about point 1 is this counter clockwise moment which is the reaction moment so their sum must be equal to 0 so m which is counter clockwise positive minus 50 into perpendicular distance 3 is equal to 0 so from here we will get this moment will be equal to 150 kilo newton into meter now here you can see that uh we have a shear force v acting and we have a external moment m acting clear so let this is the x axis clear this is y axis and this z axis is out of plane so your this moment is about z axis clear so due to this you will have a stress bending stress in x direction so i will choose another color you will have a bending stress in x direction and this shear force will be along y direction so if i draw the state of stress clear uh, but before we will have sigma x clear which is not known yet and we have a shear force uh, shear force which is given as uh, um, which is given as 50 kilo newton so we will calculate shear stress which we also do not know so what we will do we will find this sigma x and we know that this sigma x is equal to m into y divided by i where m is the bending moment which we have calculated over here y is distance from neutral axis till top most so you if you if you see that this is the beam so it's symmetrical about this axis clear so y is the distance from neutral axis till the point where point a lies so this is the distance this distance is y and this distance you can see it is equal to 250 mm divided by 2 which is equal to 125 mm 
and this y is in term of meter is 0 0.125 meter now we have y as well i can be obtained by i is the second moment of inertia and for this i beam it is equal to if we take this hole as 200 by this total length is 250 plus 12 plus 12 which is equal to 274 so two, this is 274 millimeter while width is 200 millimeter so if i take this whole box and find the moment of inertia and then subtract this two empty portion so we will get the moment of inertia of this beam so i will write moment of inertia is equal to generally it is equal to 1 over 12 bh cube so for here i will be equal to 1 over 12 b is its breadth which is 200 millimeter and meter it is equal to 0 0.2 and height is 274 so which is in meter is 0 0.274 whole cube minus 1 over 12 into you can see this height will be equal to 250 and this thick this will be equal to 200 minus 10 divided by 2 which is equal to 95 so 95 so i will write its breadth is equal to 0, 0 0.95 and height is 0 0.250 0 whole q and there are two empty portion one is this one and other is this one so i will multiply it with two so i will multiply it with two so it will be equal to two divided by 12 there so when you calculate it you will get the moment of inertia and this i will be equal to 95.4512 into 10 s power minus 6 meter power 4 now you have all these things so you can find this sigma x so sigma x is equal to moment which is equal to 150 kilo newton so kilo newton will be converted into newton into meter y is 0 0.125 clear divided by i which is equal to 95.45123 into 10 to the power minus 6 so you will get sigma x will be equal to uh, sigma x will be equal to 196.43 mega pascal and this this stress is at point a so we will get this is also equal to sigma a because it is calculated at this point a y is taken from neutral axis till point a okay so we have sigma a is equal to 196.43 mega pascal now we'll find shear stress so we know that shearing stress is equal to v into q divided by i into t so for point A, it will be equal to sharing stress at point A will be equal to V into Q A divided by I into T. So what is the Q? So you can see that we will find since this point is here. So the above the point A, this area will be taken. And we know that Q A is equal to Q A is equal to Y dash bar into a dash so a dash is this area which i am going to shade so this area is a dash its width is 200 millimeter and thickness is 12 millimeter so a first i will calculate a dash a dash is equal to thickness which is 0 0.012 clear and width is 0 0.20 meter which is 200 millimeter clear and y dash will be equal to distance from neutral axis till the mid of this section clear so this is y dash this is equal to y dash bar and this is equal to this distance which is 0 0.125 and the half of this 12 millimeter so it will be equal to uh, this distance is 125 millimeter 125 millimeter plus 6 millimeter so it will be 131 millimeter y dash bar 
and that is 0 0.131 meter okay now you have the value you put it y bar is 0 0.131 meter so your qa will be equal to 0 0.131 multiply by this area 0 0.012 into 0 0.2 double zero so when you calculate it you will get qa will be equal to 0 0.31 double four into 10 raised to the power minus three meter power cubic meter okay now we have qa v is given as 50 kilo newton which we have calculated at point a we have qa i is also known this and thickness so this is the thickness you can see this point a and this thickness is 10 millimeter which is 0 0.01 so thickness is equal to 10 millimeter or it is equal to 0 0.010 meter so you have all the value put the value v is equal to 50 kilo newton so 50 into 10 raised to power 3 q is calculated as 0 0.3144 into 10 raised to power minus 3 I which we have calculated was 95.4512 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 and thickness is 0 0.01. So when you calculate it, you will get shear stress at point A comes out to be 16.47 mega pascal. Okay. So you can see this is the shear stress. Now we have here two stresses. One is normal stress in x direction which is sigma a and other one is shear stress which is uh, ta so if you represent it on a state of stress let's say this is an element at point a so your normal stress which is sigma a is this one layer and your shear stress is ta clear and shear stress is ta okay so if you represent this ta so it will be like this this is your shear stress on this face which is equal to ta there is no normal stress in y direction so it will be zero so from here you can see that you have sigma x is equal to sigma a and that is equal to 196.43 mega pascal clear sigma y which is not available and that is zero and tau of x y is equal to shear stress at point a which is equal to 16.47 mega pascal okay now we know that principal stress is sigma 1 comma 2 is equal to sigma 1 sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 plus minus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square plus tau of x y whole square so just put the value sigma x is 196.43 plus 0 divided by 2 plus minus 196.43 0.43 minus 0 divided by 2 whole square plus 16.47 whole square which is equal to sigma 1 comma 2 so again sigma 1 will be equal to 90 196.43 divided by 2 plus 196.43 divided by 2 whole square plus 16.47 whole square and when you calculate it you will get it 198.198 mega pascal similarly you can calculate sigma 2 and sigma 2 will be equal to 196.43 divided by 2 minus under the root 196.43 divided by 2 whole square plus 16.47 whole square and when you calculate it you will get minus 1.37 mega pascal so at the end we have calculated the
principal stresses which are the maximum stresses at point A is equal to 198 megapascal and other principal stress is minus 1.37 megapascal. And that was all about this problem 9-40. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching. Also try problem 9-41. That is exactly same. But here the principal stresses will be at point B. So try it and my next video will be about 9-41. Thank you.